This is the Lorewood Grove Elementary Student Dismissal App Training. This training is broken into four parts. Part one, downloading and logging into the app. Part two, staff with dismissal duty. Part three, classroom staff dismissing students. And part four, benefits resources and upcoming features. For those who are working dismissal duty, this is how you would go about downloading to your iOS device. First, you would open your app store and search for Power Apps. Once you find the app, you will see that it says by Microsoft Corporation and you are going to download Once the app downloads, you're going to open that app. The app will prompt you to enter your Microsoft credentials. In our case, it will be our AP dot last name dot first few initials at apo.k12.de.us. These are the same credentials that you would use to access webmail. It'll bring us to our Delaware K-12 authentication page where you're going to enter your user ID and password again. Then this will bring us to the startup page. The app may prompt you to sign up for a free trial and it may prompt you to allow access to SharePoint and OneDrive. Please do so. And it'll bring you to the welcome page. Next, we'll talk about how to download for the web browser. You will receive an email from Microsoft Power Apps. Please click the purple button in the email that says Start App. Once the web browser is loaded, it will ask you to start a free trial to use the premium features. You click OK. If you've already been signed in, it won't ask you to credential again, but it will ask you for your country. If you are not signed in, it'll ask you for your APO credentials, which are the AP last name, dot, uh, first initials at apo.k12.de.us, the same that you use for webmail. Once it opens, you'll see on the left-hand side that there is a option, third one down, that says app. Please click on that. and it'll give you the LGE dismissal. You'll open that and it'll ask you to please allow access to SharePoint and OneDrive, and you want to allow. Then the LG dismissal app will open in your web browser, which can be displayed on your smart board for students. So the first part of this app training is about the car rider check-in and bus rider check-in features. You'll be um, directed to this welcome screen when you sign in. You're going to select car rider. You'll notice that all of the car riders are listed in order of tag number. Also featured is some information about their cohort, their name, and whether or not they have been checked in yet. If you click on the student's name, you'll also be able to access some student details. Let's say you're not sure if they ride alone or you're not sure who is allowed to, to pick them up. Um, in this case, this particular student is only being dropped off on one day because the other days he has childcare. Now, as someone arrives, you are going to, by tag number, and search for their tag. So let's say it's an X day, and we have Landon, 
David, and Hazel. Now we click at card number 10 in Hazel, and we notice that Hazel also rides with other siblings. So we have to make sure we also click our Hazel's other siblings tag number, which in this case happens to be right underneath her. Most siblings do have the same tag number. Let's check our list and make sure that all of these students have arrived on the list that classrooms say. So you will notice that they did appear. They are listed in the order that you checked them in, as well as um, you'll see the time that they were checked in. This refreshes every 10 seconds um, so that they can see the most recent check-ins. If you click on the arrow, it also gives us that student detail screen again. And if we go back to this checkbox, it'll check, take us back to the check-in screen. Now, as we're checking students in, it's really important that if you are the person checking them in, that you are still pacing the amount of students that you're checking in. So we've only checked in four so far, and we should wait until about every five or so cars, just to make sure that the cars, the students who are in the cars are coming down and those cars are leaving. Maybe Landon also came and we'll look and Landon is now on the list. And let's say the student does not have a car tag. The student is typically maybe a bus rider. And so they, we weren't expecting them in the list. That's okay. We can actually go down here to add student add rider. And we are going to um, just simply add in their name. Let's say that Mr. Justin Herman's family came to pick him up, but they weren't somebody who was on our list. So we're going to add him. Okay. And we can also, if he has a sibling, we, this is, we could also add his sibling immediately. Um, but we're going to cancel to go back. And now they're in our list, but we still have to check them in. So we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And there he is. Um, we're going to check him in. And once we go to the car rider list, we'll see. There he is, checked in. He doesn't have a car tag. We don't have some of that other detail information. However, there he is. Our check-in list also has a number of other features. In the top left corner, if you click on this button, this will take you to all the students who have arrived. If you click on this top right button, that just refreshes that list for those arrivals. It is not a requirement. You do not have to do that. It's actually set up on a timer, but just in case our timer failed, we would be able to do that. On the bottom left, this home button will take us right back to that home screen, that welcome screen. This wrench is a tool for administration to be able to add and delete students permanently. And we also have a search box here. So we can search by tag number. We can search by student name. We can also search by bus. So this feature here is for those um, who would do, be doing bus check-in. Let's say that the first two buses who arrived were bus 105 and bus 126. We check those buses in. And now if we go look at this dismissal list, you'll see as we scroll down, bus 105 and bus 127 are now on the list for students to be able to know it's time for them to dismiss. Again, with buses, you need to make sure that we're pacing and we're not checking the next bus number until these buses are loaded and leaving in order for us to be practicing social distancing. To exit the app permanently for the day, you would click the X above and hit exit. For the teacher and staff who is with the students at dismissal time, 
those teachers and staff are going to sign in with the web address given and have that posted on the smart board. They can also screen share their iPad to the smart board as well if they would prefer to do that. But this web address is interactive for them as well. Once you get to the welcome screen, we're going to pick all student dismissals. At the beginning of dismissal, when you first go to the dismissal button, you'll see a screen that is blank like this. The features of the screen are a refresh timer at the top. That refresh timer cycles through every 10 seconds and pulls from that checked in list. At the bottom, you also have a home button to take you back to that welcome screen. There is a search bar as well here that hopefully will be live when we are live. And um, this top right corner helps us to exit and close the application. As students are checked in on this screen, you will see those students appear in order that they were checked in. So two first two cars have been checked in. That timer refreshes. Now we'll see our third car has come. And they are also on the list. You'll notice their name, grade, homeroom, and car tag number will be displayed as well as the time that they were checked in. If you have questions about their student details, you can always click on the arrow and it'll give you some information about their student details. If a student arrives and it wasn't planned, they're not a typical car rider, those students will show up. However, when they appear on your screen, we should see one come up in just a second. And when they appear on your screen, you will notice that they do not have a car tag number grade homeroom. They only have the time that they were checked in, in and their name if they are not a typical car rider. As students begin to come in and the people outside will be pacing so that the list isn't long immediately, but as they come in, you'll start to have to scroll down to get the most recent student on the list. Also on the check-in list may be buses. So you, will may, you may see as they are being loaded, buses appear at the bottom of the list. So we know that bus 58 and bus 39 is being loaded right now. It's important that you're focusing the students to be able to watch for their name or their car tag number. And as soon as they see that information come up on the board, that they exit the room immediately and go down to dismissal. As we will not be checking in further students until other students are exiting. It's also important that at the end of dismissal, that you hit this X in the top right corner. It's going to ask you if you'd like to exit and close the application and exit. Yes, you do. benefits, resources, and what's coming next. The benefits of this application are that students will not have to try to listen for their name. Hopefully they can also see their name on the board. Teachers can have a little more control over getting students out of the room. And then we can still maintain social distancing and be as efficient as possible as we're exiting. If you have questions about the application, please contact me and I'll answer those questions the best I can. Or if you have some feedback on what can make the app better, I'd love to hear from you about your feedback. Initially, while we're piloting the app, we will be focused mostly on car riders and those car rider dismissals. But also, hopefully, in the future, you'll see bus riders as well being added into your dismissal list. So we appreciate any feedback that you can give and let us know if you have any questions or need any additional training or information.